Naina, you haven't in this conversation so far, you haven't mentioned corruption. Mm -hmm. And when I'm teaching at Harvard a uh, case on India, that inevitably will come up. Hmm. What are your reflections on that? So, Tarun, I look at the fact that I've led organizations in the country and uh, always organizations that uh, had absolutely no ability to pay or bribe anybody along the way. And the good news is that when you're known to be an organization that doesn't, nobody asks. So the truth is it's never been a situation where one has been asked or paid. However, I'm equally clear that there were certain times like you know building approvals uh, that were needed and uh, we worked into our plans that it would take us two years knowing full well that if we did it as a joint venture with a builder he would have got it in three months so the reality is that you can absolutely work without being part of the system but the so-called speed money which is sometimes paid to get past regulatory and I would say it's not even past regulatory approvals, but just get regulatory approvals faster than they might otherwise come uh, is a reality which you live with. Uh, the fact is, at the end of the day, we dealt with, uh, as banks, with customers uh, whom we were also very watchful about because we wanted to make sure that they worked to levels of governance that uh, uh, were where we wanted them to be. And uh, as those standards continued to rise and increase and awareness of these began to happen across uh, the rules and regulations that were coming at these companies. For a lot of the large, larger family-owned businesses in the country and all the multinationals, I mean, many of the companies in India were indeed multinationals. They worked in countries around the world. They were as worried about reputation and the rules and regulations that governed any other firm as um, any multinational. So I think the standard itself changed very rapidly and for a lot of Indian companies, your big IT companies, your pharma companies, your large family owned companies, the Birlas, the Tatas, they are global and uh, the standards that they work to in terms of governance are global as they have to be. So I think the evolution is, is one where the larger corporates in India and the multinational corporates and I would say even some of the young ones that have large foreign institutional investors and PE money work to a global standard. The corruption, if it's there, is really there in the small SME, MSME areas where companies, are, they, this is their way of fixing issues or to get things done faster than they might otherwise have got because of the time value of money.